Women space scientists are taking their green fingers to outer space with a new project that will aim to grow tomatoes on board a mini satellite. The EU Cropis program is set to launch in the days ahead and could be a stepping stone towards growing produce on Mars. Well, with more on this and a roundup of this week's biggest science and technology stories, Jeremy Wilkes joins me here in the studio. Hi, Jeremy. Great to Hello. see you again. Plenty of us struggle to even grow tomatoes in our back garden, don't we? How on earth is this team going to pull it? off in outer space yes i mean it's a wonderful experiment it's not very big this satellite it's only maybe a meter or so across it's going to launch later this week on the spacex rocket and the idea is to test out something called a closed loop system so could you grow tomatoes in a closed loop system in space so on board this we have the tomato seeds we have synthetic urine and we have algae and the idea is it's going to be spinning around giving uh, the the plants inside the, the same gravity as the moon for six months and then the same gravity as mars for six months uh, the urine is going to be turned into nitrates which will then feed the little seeds which will get oxygen from the algae and then hopefully they'll start to grow um, it's something they've managed to do on the ground already but can they do it in space in the harsh environment of space with the radiation when in this extremely strange environment interestingly they've chosen tomatoes because you can see the fruit well with the little cameras they've got on board oh that is interesting with the red color whizzing around exactly i like it and um, well we'll have to wait and see how that all develops let's head over to some health science news now a new research suggesting that sucking on your child's pacifier could actually lower the risk of allergies tell us a little bit more about this yeah research. this is a research from the american college of allergy asthma and immunology having their meeting and uh, research has come out basically they they looked at 120 28 mums and their uh, little infant children looking at them over 18 months to see what happens uh, in terms of the, how they behave with their pacifiers, the kind of dummies that they give to little children. Uh, most of the mums would, would um, either wash them under the, uh, in the sink or sterilise them, but some of them would lick them and then put them into the child's mouths. And they found that after a year of that, that those children had uh, basically a, a better um, situation when it comes to allergies. They were better a place to be able to fight off um, uh, basically infections and things their immune systems were stronger they think it was coming from the mum's mouth uh, the nice little microbes that might help out and build up the immune system on the child fascinating uh, research it's not conclusive but certainly very interesting yeah really interesting stuff and finally uh, Jeremy a massive ancient crater has been discovered under a glacier in Greenland this made yeah, quite this was some, some detective work to get yeah. this. This is from the Natural History Museum of Denmark and the, the University of Copenhagen. They were looking at images of northern Greenland. Um, they'd actually got them from NASA, who were using radar to measure the ice sheet. And they were looking at something, they thought that looks like a an impact crater that looks like something smashed into our planet but they needed to prove it so they did a lot of surveying had a lo lot of looking from the air but they had to get down there go and find some of these little tiny tiny quartz fragments which are really the kind of smoking gun of a meteorite impact and they believe they found it they're, they're pretty sure it's that that's what it was 31 kilometers in size that means you had a one kilometer iron meteorite would have smashed into the planet what the big question now is when did that happen they believe it was any time between 3 million and 12,000 years ago which actually in geological terms is very recent and if they can find out more about that then they can look at the other effects it might have had on the climate and they can tell us a lot more about the history of planet earth oh wow well jeremy wilkes you never fail thanks very much indeed at talking science as interesting as ever thank you